Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see SC200 Microsoft Security Operation Analyst Lab 4 in which we will do mitigate attacks with Microsoft Defender for endpoints. So we have Microsoft 365 Defender, we have Microsoft Defender for endpoint, one of the services under Microsoft 365 Defender suite. For instance, you are a security operation analyst working at a company that is planning to implement Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Your management plans to onboard a few devices to provide insight into required changes to the SecOps or security operations team response procedures. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and show you how we can use and explore the Defender for Endpoint attack mitigation capabilities through the simulated attacks. Okay, I am logged on to the portal now under endpoints. You click on evaluation and tutorials and you click on uh, <clears throat> tutorial and simulations. You see this document drops backdoor. This scenario simulates delivery of socially engineered lewd document. The document launches a specially crafted backdoor that gives attacker control. So I will, I will go through this document and we'll follow this to simulate the attack and then explore the mitigation capabilities. So this is the Onboarded, it should have uh, Windows 10 anniversary update or later. PowerShell turned on, Windows Defender turned on, Microsoft Word installed. So I'll go to my evaluation lab under evaluation and tutorials. You see my one device is still available for 17 more hours. And if I want to connect to it, I have that information with me, click on here. Go to devices, and if you will see, copy this IP. I'm connecting to my machine, uh, the test device. here I'll see if I have Microsoft world installed on here or not I'll have, what I'll do is I have that uh, Leo document that I downloaded I'll just copy it, go to that machine and paste it. All right. And if I just double click it, so let's say this this document that I opened up was, I got that document through a phishing email, right? Now they say that this file from this, this is the document that I downloaded. Copy the Leo document to the test device and to simulate typical user interaction with the Leo document. Double click the copy of the document to the test device. Microsoft Word will prompt for a password and open the document. Oh, this is the password. Okay. I need to have Word. Let me see. Let me find that simulation that does not require uh, Windows uh, Word or Office. Okay.
API Hello World Automated Investigation File Less Attack. Okay, this does not require uh, me Microsoft Word or Office. So I'll I'll do this. What will what it will do is it is an attack simulation for automated investigation, which is a file less attack. Document is provided. It's a preface. Okay, what will happen? In this scenario, we simulate file less attack executed in memory and let the automated investigation in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint kick in, providing automated SOC attack responses, triage, investigate, and remediate. During the response, automated investigation identifies and removes known attack artifacts from the affected device. It can also automatically pivot to other devices that may be affected and apply the same response actions. So we'll have a let's have the same script. All right. And we'll also ex explore how exploit protection in Windows 10 can help prevent attackers from being able to carry out some of their activities. So in this simulation, the example scenario starts with a PowerShell script. A user in your organization may be tricked into executing such a script or the script may be executed remotely from another device in the organization that was previously infected with the attacker attempting to move literally in the network. Detection of such scripts is difficult because administrators also often run scripts remotely to carry out various administrative activities. The attacker goes into inject some shell code into seemingly innocent process which can be wrote as simple as notepad.exe. So my machine is already onboarded. So I'll follow the steps to run the simulation. I'll copy the script. Let me go. Okay, so when you click here, copy simulation script. Let's see what it does. It is copied to the clipboard. Then I'll go onto my machine. I'll on this server, my test server, I'll open PowerShell. Or this one, I see. I'll give it a few seconds. I'll paste the script here. Okay. And I'll click on play button. It will execute the script. See, so it's mentioned. Hi, a shell code was just inject, injected to, into this process. If your OS build is this or higher, to keep this window open to see auto IRA in action. Otherwise, feel free to close this window. So, virus has been injected. See, and the simulator attack code is injected into it. The simulator attack code attempts communication to an external IP address simulating the CNC server. Now, what we'll do is with exploit protection uh, introduced with Windows 10 fall creator update, which is version 1709 policies can be applied to restrict how code runs on devices, mitigating many exploit based attacks. Exploit protection detections are surfaced as alerts by Defender for Endpoint to provide SOC personnel. Now it says to simulate the attack with exploit protection, I'll open up the PowerShell on this server. I 
as an admin. I'll just copy here it is. Now let me do this. I'll see if I'm able to paste here. No. Not here as well. Now I have executed that script and it made these changes. Now as per the documentation it says that now if I run to uh, run the provided attack PowerShell script so if I go here and copy it again earlier I got this message a shell code was just injected to this process right so if I just want to show you again I ran this and I got this message that the shell code was injected. Now if I run it again after executing now see when I did this I didn't get a message because that script was not able to execute right here this is what they are saying the script start notepad again injection measure and attempts to execute it as before this time hammer it is stopped by exploit protection which causes notepad.exe to be terminated right now to restore exploit protection settings on a test device I'll just run this and see if I'm able to run it Okay, it is removed. I'll go back. I'll execute the same virus again or shell code again. I think, see, it was able to inject because this feature, exploit protection, I just turned it off. Now, you the real attacker if successful right the 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 thing that happened here you will get a custom message message from the attacker now they will use this information to go into your network and now alert should start up it will it takes 15 it will take because of this is lab it will take 15 30 minutes for the attack to come in. Now we'll, we'll investigate the attack in the portal as soon as I see some alerts going in. Now if I go from here and I check and click on home device compliant I'm not seeing anything Or if I see incidents and alerts, see what does it say? It say unexpected behavior, unsupported alert type, suspicious process which is running. So if I click on here, test machine two, administrator one, alert story. PowerShell IXE as executed a script, right? I'll come to the unexpected behavior, suspicious application window discovery, and notepad.exe. If I click on it, 
it says notepad.exe this is the time through this it happened virus total detection ratio three active alerts in the incident which are created this is the file size this is the process name back to alert details look for recommendation now if you see this part alert description it says a known tool or technique was used to gather information on this device attackers might be trying to gather information about the target device so this is this information is all coming through automated investigation and if you see the automated investigation and supported alert type so if you see the alerts again and you go to the description automated investigation details are mentioned now if you want to explore the automated investigation and approve pending remediation actions defender for endpoint provides detailed information about each investigation by default it waits for the user approval before performing corresponding remediation actions as well so if you go here and you click on investigation or click on alerts word pad file page if you maximize this suspicious projection it is taking some time to pick up the recommendations but it should give us some details for the automated alert type but if you will click the automated investigation and response the alerts that trigger the automated investigation it will give you the device that are involved the entities or artifacts found and analyzed files processes services network addresses etc threats found it will uh, when the automated investigation will complete a notification message indicates remediation actions that require analyst action you will click on pending actions and it will give you to approve those pending action to remediate that alert or not i'll wait for some time to see if i get those alerts and can show you this how you approve and how you resolve the alerts i think i'll have to continue that in the next video Okay, so I hope this video was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.